All right, hi guys. I've promised another uh, video tutorial on Drone Harmony. Uh, this is my favorite app for the DJI Mavic Pro. Uh, it does work on other drones, but I have the Mavic Pro, so that's what the tutorial's uh, on. And uh, in my opinion, this is the best app I've come across. Uh, I haven't seen any better. What you can do here is um, build your mission on your tablet or uh, phone with this app. You can build it at home. You can uh, refine it at home. You don't have to be out in the field. You don't have to be, uh, you don't, the drone doesn't have to be on. Uh, it's just super fantastic. And best of all, it's a free app. You just download it. Just go to the Play Store and uh, and download it and uh, run your missions. Okay, there's my location at my house. Now we'll zoom out a little bit and go to the place that I want to fly my mission. We're going to do a top-down mission this time. Uh, since there's a lot that are the same. So, let's see here. Center of the screen. Last time we did a Walmart fly uh, over the uh, more or less the parking lot area with a point of interest as parking lot this one is going to be a top down so we're going to fly over top of Walmart with the gimbal pointed straight down and uh, top down uh, missions are for like let's say checking out your rooftop or checking out some land somewhere like looking over your cattle on the farm or at your farmyard or whatever a top-down mission would entail so this is where we want to do our top-down flight over Walmart we'll do that again and in order to do that you can click the bottom uh, right corner and that'll give you your list of missions the very first one on the far right left is the pro mission and the top one is top-down and it's grayed out we can't do it at the moment so we'll back up and we have to define our area so we'll click the, on the left the top icon and now we can click our perimeter of Walmart just clicking randomly and you can see it's kind of a bluish colored square or a rectangle that we've created and I'm gonna click and hold the four dots so I can define my area a little better and I'm thinking that's pretty close right there so now if I click anywhere outside the blue triangle, or the, pardon me, uh, back up, did that wrong. If I click inside of it, I now have a pencil on the far left that I can uh, click on, and I can set the height of that particular uh, triangle. I don't know what the height of Walmart is, but we'll set the height to uh, meters of, of 10. and set now if i go to the bottom left corner click on the cube in the circle there you can see that i've created a rectangle with a height of 10 meters okay let's back up next i want to define uh where i want to take off from and where i want to land and and define how it's going to go across walmart uh, rooftop there so bottom right corner click on that I can actually pick the mission now you can see it's highlighted I can actually pick it uh, we'll do the top down all of the rest are going to be fairly well the same so now it's set up to uh, lift off so I'm going to go to where I want to lift off from and I'm going to park over here in this area right here and we'll click in the center of that and I can click and hold and drag and I'll drag it to the roughly the center we'll click next on the box now the landing point we're going to use it where it says uh, use same as liftoff click there okay brings up this box uh, top-down mission flight altitude uh, the flight altitude we're going to make it a total of 30 so I want to add 20 to the 10 that I've already done so we'll add 20 and the compute optimal flight direction will just leave it at that 
and in the box in the left corner the black box there with that's the mission there if I scroll up a bit maybe I can zoom in a bit here we can see that that blue triangle or the blue uh, rectangle is 10 meters high and then I have a total of 30 meters high that I'm going to be flying and that's the, the little uh, triangle moving around there is actually the drone with the gim gimbal and the camera pointed down it's what how it's gonna go across back and forth across the roof of, the, of Walmart I don't want that many times to go back and forth so we'll refine that um, the top along the top tab will pick overlap now the overlap it says 60% overlap I want maybe 10% overlap and now you can see it's down to uh, five times back and forth which is that's okay it's just five percent overlapping the, the video or the, these are still shots but I don't want to do that many still such still shots and I want to take video uh, uh, in the first place so uh, the vertical the forward overlapping I wanted that down to six or ten percent too although uh, that's that'll change here in a minute once I pick uh, simplify and then we'll click on the advanced tab across the top there and I'm using a camera profile is the DJI Mavic Pro and we're flying in the default camera direction is uh, north and the gimbal is pitched 90 degrees down we'll click on generate at the bottom now if we go over to where Walmart is the um, blue rectangle zoom out a little bit and on the far far center right the triangle says 20 meters we'll click on that you can see that now all the waypoints there have 30 in them it's going to be a total of 30 meters high okay I don't want so many uh, waypoints to be in there so we'll go over to the pencil on the right or on the left part of me and we'll very bottom it says simplify plan click on that now you can see that we have waypoints just on all the ends and nothing in the center and that's exactly what I want I can tell each of those waypoints to have to stop and take a picture a photograph but I wanted to do continuous video the whole time now you can see these two yellow lines that are coming and going to my start point and my end point and it's going to first take off and come to this waypoint that I have highlighted here at the moment fly across the Walmart to the far left side to right here and then from there it's going to go up one row back and forth back and forth and end up here and then fly home from here and that's just about the way we want that mission to to be so it's going to take off from this point fly straight down to the end point here and the gimbal as you can see the, with the black triangle in there is going to fo uh, face to the left of the screen so when I take off it's going to be pointing uh, downwards uh, down that uh, south or that end of the screen but as it's flying there on its way the gimbal is going to start pointing downwards until when it gets here it'll be straight down uh, we can either have that so that that doesn't happen or so that it flies straight with 90 degree out till it gets there and then point down and then fly like that and then on the way home when it comes uh, the last waypoint here it's gimbal down it's going to stay down all the way until it gets to the end uh, near the end anyways uh, that's that's good enough for this mission you can change it how you want we'll zoom out uh, uh, zoom in a little bit and now we'll save that mission so it's the top right or top left pardon me the uh, three little lines we'll go for plans and flights we'll go for save and we'll call it top down that's our mission and click save 
So now when we go out into the field, when we finally get there, we can fire up our drone, we can fire up uh, the remote control and uh, connect with Drone Harmony. Once it's connected, right now if I click on the bottom right corner, the, the orange circle, you can see at the bottom of the screen it says not connected to drone. That's because I'm sitting at home and I'm not connected, to, the drone's not on, we're not connected. But when we get out into the field, I'll be connected and I can uh, actually uh, have the video showing the full size of the screen here and I can watch what's going on uh, uh, from the camera view. Okay, we've got that all, we've got it saved, so now all we got to do is just head out into the field and actually fly the mission. And we'll go a little bit slower this time, uh, we'll go at 9, 20, 20 kilometers, uh, video, auto focus, next page, we'll go for auto land, continue mission if, if not signal loss, set yaw control manual or automatically, gimbal automatic, and launch mission.